Welcome to another queer history lesson with Jules Long Beach, brought to you by Q Voice News. Today, it's all about the Queen. William Dorsey Swan was known to his friends as the Queen. Swan reigned over a secret world of drag balls in Washington, D.C. in the 1880s. He was also the leader of possibly the world's earliest known queer liberation group. Swan was born in approximately 1858 in Maryland. Uh, he lived through slavery and the Civil War. Swan also is the first known person to dub himself a, quote, queen of drag or a drag queen. Swan's amazing and little known life was uncovered and explored by Channing Gerard Joseph in an article for The Nation. That impulse led me to just dig through all the archives and records I could find. And that led me to a Washington Post article from 1888 describing a police raid on a, on a drag ball. And I had never heard of a drag ball happening that long ago. I didn't know that drag had that the word drag even existed that far back. In 1896, after being convicted and sentenced to 10 months in jail on a false charge of, quote, keeping a disorderly house, end quote, which was just a euphemism for someone they thought was holding a brothel, <laughs> Swan demanded a pardon from President Grover Cleveland but the president did not pardon him. Swan's action was also historic. Swan is the earliest documented U.S. resident to take direct legal and political action to defend the queer community's right to gather without the threat of police violence. Swan's activities and achievements are remarkable considering the day and age in which he lived. We're talking all the way back in the 1880s. By 1900, Swan had retired from the drag ball scene, and even though his time saw shaying across the floor was short-lived, Swan's legacy and impact are enormous. So, a huge shout out to the first queen of the drag ball. Thanks for tuning in to today's Queer History Lesson with Jules Long Beach, brought to you by Q Voice News. I hope you click like and subscribe, share it with a few fun friends of yours. You can read the article linked to this as well for even more information. And of course, donate to this fabulous cause as we bring you even more Queer History Lessons with Jules Long Beach.